Take your seats, please. The house lights will be dimming in about one minute. Curtain going up in one minute. Good evening, ladies. Nice to see you. <gasps> lessons continue. They're still caught in the grip of the rules and indulged in monotonous repetitions. So if a person is involved in a course that's detrimental to his own best interest, he will not process the information that is indicated. I love looking at puppets. I mean, completely forget that they are puppets and they're not just some kind of creatures or something, which are real, because they are so real. Puppeteers make them so lifelike. What metamorphosis? Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Our rebels now are in. Your music violates everything pub stands for, which is nothing. I may be what you was dressed in flesh. Oh, I nearly forgot my Seven rooms, dream eaters, children of the carousel, slide, black organic dripping mass, stamen of rotting flower, digestive chamber, half eaten creatures searching through mulch for exit, fear, revulsion, change, emergent, cocoon like, wrapped in skin, suffocating. Pursued by larger creature, bolt into cave, stab outwards with spear. Hungry, thirsty, walking endlessly, sifting through rubble, others barely seen. Digging dirt from my fingernails with shiny, straight, razor sharp and steady hand, calmly carving the seconds with serrated weapons, slicing your perceptions, long swords and gag reflex. Soldiers march past. Rusted computer terminals in forgotten languages. Switch. Courtroom. Accused of murder. Shown evidence. Mute. Drugged. Lawyer defends on grounds of insanity. Psychotic rape. Memories of killing leak in. Family home. Children. Wife. Dirty secrets. Watching self. Follows family about for a day. Cries watching children sleep. Fuck your gunpowder with its more subtle presence severing the meat from your argument falling wetly to the surface. Slit your spluttering, spitting and uttering free from the purpose. Stab your soul with ceremonial air pressure, ear pops. Fuck your gunpowder for the sharpest knife in the box. Rebirth, psychic communication accepted by peace. Watches show inside performer's mind seven rooms. Dream eaters, children of the carousel, slide. Seven rooms, all calm, elegant, beautiful. Music, art, food, love, physicality, sensation, peace. Led to a gate, leaves peacefully. Wake up to be led to prison, hyper real. Retreat into dream world. Seven rooms. Dream eaters. Children of the carousel. Slide.
Friday the 13th. We've got a full moon, too. But keep statistics. We have more accidents, more rapes, more robberies, more homicides, more of everything when there's a full moon. It upsets people. It makes them nuts. Uh, make a science out of coincidence. trust anybody now. We're all very tired.
house doing this? Get me my soapbox, plebeians I'll ram my thoughts down your gullet To dispose of the evidence I said nothing Planted my teeth and see your head Fungally infected, my lightly panting Already there, twisting and ranting Tainting, consuming out of the change You were all already there I just turned up your volume Bring you up to my level loud Laughing, you're signing off to the sand One room flat slash kitchen slash bedroom with small basement. Windows fortified, plywood, steel sheets, holes cut for firing crossbow bolts, self-manufactured. The weapon also handmade by the bed. Corroded dynamo generator cranked religiously every night to charge the fuel cell which powers the night vision goggles. She uses them less and less frequently, training her weak human eyes to see flickers of movement in the darkness, solid shapes and not nightmares. Fear of the night is not abstract, paranormal terror. She prays to the moon for illumination and mutters curses at clouds, only afraid to let the night in because she knows the horrors that walk its streets. The basement filled with tinned, sweetened fruit, syrup clogged and cloying, salt beef and dull beans kept cold most nights because the dangers are drawn by firelight. She sits, muscle locked and intent, inclining herself this way and that and occasionally stretching like a cat with a pop and a crack of stiff bones shifting, never yawning, occasionally sipping at a diminishing bottle of water made safe by one of the last few purification tablets. Not for six months have the walls and doors been rattled with a battering of axes and flails and rough planks of plywood driven through with nails. So long since she heard the coarse curses of those that would rape and pillage this place, this safe haven, that she almost misses the cacophony. More than the night, she fears fire. The last time they tried to burn her out, she nearly choked on the fumes, but the pool still couldn't breach the heavy prison door. A long dead friend had helped her haul here from Bar L back in the last few days before she decided to go to ground, sensing the rage and despair pulsing in the plagued, ravaged veins of the survivors. A gray ghost flickers in the pale moon's glow rustling of rags and flash of built tip blade, dipped in infected wounds to poison. She breathes in evenly, shifts sight fractionally, and pulls the trigger that releases the deadly razor tip bolt from her bow. The lighter grays collapse, fold back into darkness, lost in the warp and the weft. She checks her quiver silently, nine bolts left. weary limbs. I carried on across the wasteland slope, my best foot ever hauled. Insecurity and fear permeated the whole society. The whole thing was absurd. Hundreds of people trying to do the same thing. I've never been interested in technical excellence for its own sake. The whole thing was absurd. What was it all about? They were completely meaningless, these things. You just had to use the right notes, more or less in the right order. It didn't mean absolutely anything. Success wasn't based on how good a person was but on connections. You just had to use the right words, more or less in the right order. It didn't mean absolutely anything. The whole thing was absurd. 